Hi guys, welcome to my channel again. So uh, today we're going to be testing out this drone. It's called the Ascend by Aeronautics. And this one happens to be the ASC-2450 HD video drone with optical flow technology. So it has streams video to your mobile device, altitude hold, 6 axis gyro, onboard camera HD, onboard HD video, and a 400 foot range. I already did the unboxing as you can tell. Alright, so this is the drone and what it looks like. It looks very nice. It looks almost like a Mavic Mini. I'm going to turn on the lights there so you can see the lights. So as it's facing away from you, it's red. And as it's facing towards you, it's white. And this one, by the way, when it's ascending or it's coming down, it'll flash just like that as it's going up or down. I'm going to turn this off. Now the way you unfold this, this goes to the front. Where's the little handles first? And then the other ones go back. And this one goes back. And there you go. And as you can see, this is about the size of it. It's a pretty cool looking drone. It's kind of windy today, so that's why I'm flying it out here in the field where it won't get lost. And if you don't mind, guys, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm trying to get as many subscribers. I only got about 300, trying to get to that 1,000 mark, you know. Hit me up for, uh, if you don't mind. And if you like uh, like a traveling channel, I have a Texas Trevi channel as well. It's called Texas Trevi Travels uh, on YouTube as well. So I'm trying to grow that channel. I only got four subscribers, so help me out on that one if you can too. If not, this just at least subscribe to this one. That's cool. Um, and also, let me show you this real quick. Let me put this down. This is the, um, the remote for it. And it does hook up to your, it syncs up to your phone and I'll show some footage from that in the video. This is neat because if you don't want this deal, you can take it off or you can just put it back on, you know, if you do want it. I think it's the top first and then the bottom. It hooks up better, something like that. Um, now, one of the things about this drone that, that I did like is that it does have a one touch, see right here, it has a one touch button and it'll take off and it'll hold its altitude and then it'll come back down. Now in strong winds like this, I suggest, see the speed button here? Go to the highest speed possible because you're able to control it a lot faster. If you keep it on a lower speed, it'll just drift off and away. And the only way to get it back is really to just land it wherever it is and go to it. This doesn't have GPS. So they call this a beginner drone, but I don't agree with that. I think it's more of a, an expert drone because I mean you know really what you have to do is when you hit that speed and it's it's you turn it towards you and for some reason it'll it'll come back towards you a lot quicker but if not it'll just keep drifting away and for beginners they're not gonna know man I gotta turn that toward me and come and it's it's hard to make it come toward you in reverse because this does not have what you know I forget what it's called but um, it's, it's like no matter what face it's it's facing or what direction the drone is facing uh, it'll come back to you this doesn't have that I wish it did so some of these buttons you know they do different things they'll tell you on the instructions but uh, basically you know of course for you to trim left and right trim up and down or forward and backward that is and uh, that's it now it does have a stunt button so if you hit that stunt button and then you hit this it'll flip one way or the other depending on which way you flip it it's a great drone um, you're going to see it in action here in a second, and um, I hope you enjoy it, alright? Thanks, don't forget to subscribe, thanks.
again with that one touch, I just hit the one touch and it landed on its own and then it stopped. So very inexpensive drone, but overall I like it. It doesn't have some of the features that I would like, like the GPS and you know the, uh, I forget what it's called again, but it can be facing either way and then it comes back to you. I'll put it in the description. I'll remember once I get home. And there I am recording and you can see how it's stable. I just trimmed it to stay. I'm going to bring it down a little. And it just stays there. The trim works well even in wind. Great drone for 70 bucks. I'm going to turn it toward me come to me you see again I get in trouble there I almost hit that tree sorry I turned it away I went forward I'm gonna turn it toward me hopefully it'll come to me here it comes where is it there it is As you can see, the um, footage is kind of choppy. It doesn't have a gimbal. So when you go forward or backward, that's why the camera points down, down or up. This doesn't have cinematic mode. It just has uh, two speeds, slow and fast. But you can see it's very choppy. The colors are very vivid though. I'm gonna ascend a little bit here. I didn't want to go too high because of FAA so I barely went taller than the trees. They don't want to get in trouble with anybody. And I'm going to rotate it in a minute into the wind. Right now it's against the wind. I'm going to rotate it away from the wind I mean. So it did pretty good. And again, guys, please like and subscribe. Appreciate all the support. Happy droning.